Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pabli. So the topic for today's video is create new order in Shopify using data from Google Sheets. Now suppose guys from various sources you are receiving order for your Shopify store and you are collecting all the details from various sources into a Google Sheet. Now one by one you want to place order in your actual Shopify store to process those orders. So the manual process of getting the order details from Google Sheet and manually creating a new order in your own Shopify store by yourself can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an automation by which whenever we will add the order details of a new order into a Google Sheet, automatically, instantly, the very same details, a new order will be created in our Shopify store as well. Interesting, right? Now here you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can set up this automation by yourself, that too without any coding skill, without any technical knowledge. To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pabbly pabli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just 2 minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Google Sheets to Shopify and click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new order which we are adding in our Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. And then guys, using Pavli Connect, we will send that very same data to our Shopify store to create a new order over there. So here in Choose app, we will search for Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. After that, it is asking us for the trigger event. So here in trigger event, we will select new or updated spreadsheet row. And after selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to connect Google Sheets with Pavli Connect. And how we are going to do the connection? you can refer to the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here. Go to the Google Sheet, the spreadsheet which you have created. So this is the spreadsheet where I am adding or my team members are adding details of every order. And after that, we'll go to extensions and go to add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach on Google Workspace Marketplace. So here in search app, search for Pabli Connect webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y. Pavli Connect Webhooks. As you can see, I have already installed Pavli Connect Webhooks add-on in my Google Sheet. So you, you just also have to install this very same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after that, refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. And after refreshing our Google Sheets, we'll go back to extensions and you will see that you will find an add-on named as Pavli Connect Webhooks. Just hover on this and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on initial setup, we can see that a dialog box appears in front of us, which is asking us selected sheet, webhook URL and trigger column. So in selected sheet, you have to select the sheet which in which you are adding the order details. So here in this spreadsheet, I have only sheet name as sheet one. So I'll select that. After that, it is asking us for the webhook URL. So here in this section, we have to add the very same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and paste it over here. Then it is asking us for the trigger column. So here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So basically the last data entry column of our spreadsheet is our trigger column. So let me zoom in. Yes, as you can see over here. So guys, in the background, you will notice that the column I will be my trigger column because that is the last data entry column where my data exists. So I will select a column I as trigger column. According to your spreadsheet, you can have basically any column, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, any column as your trigger column. Just make sure that that is the last data entry column of your spreadsheet. So after entering trigger column, click on send test. 
Now it is showing us test data sent successfully. Means the data of our order which we have added in our second row after headers, the very first row after headers, this very same data is now sent to Pavli Connect by Google Sheets. After that, just click on Submit. And once again, go to Extensions, Pavli Connect Webhook and click on Send On Event. So by selecting send on event, we are telling our Google Sheet or add-on that whenever your data is added in a new row in our spreadsheet till our trigger column, instantly send that very same data to Pavli Connect. This is what happened after selecting send on event. And now guys, because we have connected Pavli Connect and Google Sheet, we will see that the details of this very same order which we have already added in our Google Sheet will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's get back to Pavli Connect. And yes, guys, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this is the response of that very same order. We have the same customer name, customer email, product name, just a second. Okay, so by mistake, I have added the product ID in place of product name in my Google Sheets. So let me correct it first. Okay, so now I have added the correct product name. We'll go back to Public Connect. Click here on Recapture Webhook Response. And then once again, go back to Extensions. Pavli Connect by Books and click on Initial Setup. And once again, just click on Send Test. And once again, the test data is signed. Click on Submit. And now we will see that in Pavli Connect, we will have the very same details which we have added of the order in our Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here we have received the correct response. And in this response, we can see that the name of the customer which you have added in our Google Sheet email address of the customer, the name of the product, the product ID, which is of this very same product, the quantity which the customer wants to order, the price, waiting gram, shipping title, shipping price, and other details. So all the details of the order, which we have added in our Google Sheet, are now captured inside Pavli Connect. Now the step one of setting up this automation, guys, is successfully completed. Now we have to move to step two where we will send this very same data to Shopify to create an order in our Shopify store. For that, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose app, we will search for Shopify. Now after that, it is asking us for action event. So here in the action event, we will select Create Order. Click on Connect. Select Add New Connection. Now here we have to connect our Shopify account with Pavli Connect. And to make the connection, we require the admin API access token and the subdomain. So to get the subdomain, you just have to go to the your Shopify account dashboard. And here in the URL section, you will find the subdomain of your Shopify account. After double slash and before dot my Shopify, this is the subdomain of my Shopify account. Just copy it from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Then it is also asking us for the admin API access token. So here you must be thinking how we will find the API access token of a Shopify account. So to get the API access token, we will follow the help desk given below over here. So guys, uh, to get the API access token, we have to create an app inside our Shopify account. So for that, we'll go to the dashboard of your Shopify account and on the left side, click on settings. After that, we'll scroll down and click on this option named as apps and sales channel. Just click on it and click on develop apps. It is not a complex process guys, it is a very simple process. Now after that, just click on this create an app, give this app a name, for example, I'll name it as Pavli and click on create app. So our app is now created. After that, just click on this configuration option and here click on configure admin API integration, click on configure over here. Now after that, we have to provide some access permissions to this very same app. So we'll scroll down and here we will select customer as we have to provide the access to the customer data to this very same app as well as draft order. Then we'll scroll down and we will see some more details like order and other details. So for example, order editing, orders, then we have to give this permission for product as well, product listing, products, and that's it. So after giving all this permission to this very same app, guys, we have to just click on save and the app is saved now. Then after that, we have to go to API credentials. And after going to API credentials, just click on install app and click on install. So we have successfully created this app, provided all the necessary permissions to this app and installed this very same app into a Shopify store. After installing it, we can see the token over here. Just click on this reveal token once button, copy this token from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here and click on save. 
And now we will see that our Shopify store is now successfully connected with Babli Connect. After making the connection, to create an order, it is asking us for some details like the email address of the customer, the name of the product which we want to order, the product variant, then it is asking us for the product quantity, product title and other details. So we have entered all these details of the order into a Google Sheet and we have received the response for the Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. So from these responses, one by one we will map all these details over here in these fields. So let's begin with our email address. So guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Google Sheets. And out of all these responses, map the response for email address of the customer. Then it is asking us for the product. So in the drop down below, we can see all the products which we have listed in our Shopify store over here. But the name of the product or the product ID will be keep changing. So for that, we have to just turn this mapping button on, click clear the default field and we have also added, as you can notice, we have also added the product ID of the product. So basically we have to map this very same product ID over here in this field. So map the product ID. Then it is asking us for the variant. So I want to sell the black variant of this particular product. Then it is asking us for the quantity. So we have also received the quantity order quantity. We will map the order quantity in this field. Then the product title. So we have added the product name over here. Just map the name over in, in this field of product title. Product quantity, oh sorry, product price. So this is the price of the product. Map it as well as the weight. So basically we have entered all the details which are required to order in our Google Sheet. And from Google Sheet responses, we are mapping all these details. Then these fields of notes, discount amount, discount codes, these fields are not mandatory. So I'm ignoring these fields for now. And then it is asking us for the tags. So I want to give a tag of Google Sheet for all the orders which I'm creating from Google Sheet. So I will enter Google Sheets over here. If you want, you can give some other tag for, according to your choice. Then it is asking us send receipt. So false, I don't want to send receipt to the customer instantly. Send fulfillment receipt, no, false, inventory behavior, bypass. Then financial status, all these fields are not necessary as well. So you can ignore them. Then it is asking us for the shipping title. So I have also added the shipping name, shipping title this is, I'll just map it and price the shipping price as well map the shipping price and all the other details are not, not mandatory as well like the shipping address and other details. If you want to map or add all these details, you just have to add this very same details into Google Sheet and capture the response of those details inside Pavli Connect. So after mapping all the necessary fields, we will scroll down and click on this save and send test request button. Now after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this is the very positive response guys. In this response, we can see that a new order is created in our Shopify account with the very same details which we have added in our Google Sheets. So let's just check it. We'll come to our Shopify account, go to order section. And yes guys, you can see that just now we have added a new order. We have created a new order in our Shopify store. We'll see the order details. So we have the details of the very same customer. We have the very same product, plier plant pan of the order. We have the same price as well as we will see that this order is placed by the very same customer, Ashi Rai. So this is the name of the customer. So yes, guys, the details which we have added in a Google Sheet of our new order is now successfully added into a Shopify store and a new order is created using Pavli Connect. So the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now let's just test this automation once. So once again, we will place a new order over here. For example, this time I'll keep all the details as it is as previous order, but this time I will change the quantity of the order. I'll make the quantity as 10. I'll make the price as 15, for example, and just multiply the weight by, by 10. So that is will be 500. Then I'll, the rest of the details will be same. So just now in a new row, I have added the details of a new order in my show, a Google Sheet. And now we will see that because we have created this automation, automatically, instantly, a new order will be, will be created in my Shopify store as well. So let's check it. We will go to our Shopify store and refresh the page of this orders. And yes, guys, you can see just now a new order is placed over here. We'll open this order. And this is the very same order. The, 
the product the product price is 15 the quantity is 10 so 150 is the total price we have added 10 rupees as a shipping charge so we have uh, in total we can see 160 over here in shipping order is placed by Ashi Rai, the very same customer name and email address which we have added in our google sheet of the very same product fly repellent fan which we have selected over here which means guys the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine using powerfully connect so let's just get back to Pavli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed to set up this awesome automation where we just have to enter the order details in Google Sheet and automatically a new order is created in our Shopify store. So guys, first we have created a workflow inside Pavli Connect and in that workflow, we have selected Google Sheet as a trigger application and new or spread, updated spreadsheet row as trigger event. Then using a webhook URL, we have connected Google Sheets with Pavli Connect and collected the response or the data of a new order from Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. Then from Pavli Connect, we have sent the details or the data of a new order to Shopify to create an order over there. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this very same workflow inside the in the description box below. So by clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free.